Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meaty69. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we have something to show uh, that has been announced. Something new that has been announced to, to come in the game very, very soon. And be sure, uh, I will probably be one of the first channels to showcase this new tank that is coming into the game so those of you that play ratings battles those of you that like to play ratings battles uh will be very well aware that at the end of it you are able to get a tank now all this started off with the is6 fearless uh, and then after a while wargaming removed the is6 fearless and put in the lorraine fearless uh, it's okay you know lorraine it's not too bad it's very difficult to uh, to play um, but in the summer, Wargaming have announced that there is going to be a brand new Fearless. And of course, it is the T-49. The T-49 Fearless is on its way. Uh, and if you just go to the new section, uh, you can scroll down and it will also say that the, you're able to get the Lorraine Fearless until, uh, for a little bit longer, pretty much until the summer. Um, so here we go, the T49 Fearless. Uh, you still have a chance to claim the, the, the Lorraine throughout the spring in, in, in the summer. It will be replaced with a new tank, the T49 Fearless. This fighter isn't just swift and powerful, it is also extremely handsome. Just look at it. So this is the new T49 Fearless. Of course, has the same gun. Um, looking at it, it doesn't look much different to the normal T49. Um, but to be honest, it is about time that a tank like this uh, has come into the game. Now we know that there was once upon a time uh, a T49A that had missiles. But apart from that, we don't have a T49 premium tank. like. There's so many other tanks out there that are copycat, and the T49 is just one of the probably the only tier eights that should be copycat. Um, doesn't because people enjoy the T49. They enjoy the big derp of the tank, uh, the speed. It's a light tank, and I'm very surprised at the moment that Wargaming haven't even made a premium version of the T49. Um, and now they have. Now they have. But unfortunately for probably like 90% of uh, the player base, you're not going to be able to get the tank. Obviously, you need to play a lot of ratings uh, battles to be able to get the T49 Fearless. Uh, a lot of battles. Now, I sadly just don't have time to play all these ratings games, um, the, all these ratings battles. Or, of course, I would be trying to get these tanks. I've already got the IS-6 Fearless. Uh, sadly, I don't have the, the Lorraine Fearless. And sadly, I'm most likely not not going to get the uh, the t49 fearless either um so yeah it's, it's a shame it is a shame but you know i love the fact that wargaming are changing it up they're giving people plenty of time if they do play ratings they are giving plenty people plenty of time to be able to get the tank and then maybe like what once a year once every two years they are changing tanks now the one thing i'd love to see is what are wargaming intending to do with these tanks once they are removed so of course the the lorraine fearless currently it is the reward tank that you can get so when wargaming replace this uh, with the t49 what are they intending to do with the lorraine are they going to keep the the lorraine um are they gonna, you know, are they gonna sell it in in a way, or are they gonna bring it back in a different event? Now, personally, even though I don't have the tank, and a lot of people that don't have the tank that wants the tank will be like, Wargaming should sell it. Wargaming should just sell the tank. I don't agree with that. I really don't agree with that at all, and I don't think Wargaming will do that um, because it just defeats the object. You know, people play ratings game uh, battles to, for the end result, which is this tank. You know, a unique tank, uh, a very, very rare tank because this is a very rare tank. Other than the AE Phase One, the Lorraine Fearless is probably one of the rarest tanks in the game. Other than obviously the Kenny Otsu as well, that no one ha can get their hands on. At least this tank, people can still get their hands on it uh, but it is just extremely difficult i wouldn't even say 
it's extremely difficult. It just takes a lot of time, a lot of grinding in <laughs> ratings uh, battles, a lot of grinding. Um, it's not a special tank by all means. It really isn't a gr of like a fantastic tank. It's okay if you've got the Lorraine, the normal Lorraine, then it's really not much different, and that it will be, that will be the same with the t49 um fearless when it comes out how do i know that well basically this is exactly the same the is6 fearless is exactly the same as the is6 so i don't think they're going to change it maybe the tiny little thing maybe the accuracy is like 0.1 better or the speed is 0.1 slower or, or faster uh, but my bets is it is going to be the exact same thing as the t49 except for you're going to be able to earn a bit more credits that's pretty much going to be the only difference uh, between the t49 and the t49 fearless um, but yeah it's still you know it's still going to be a rare tank that people are going to want to get um, especially if you love playing in the dirt especially if you love playing a t49 uh, to be able to play it as a as a premium tank will be fairly very good um but you, if you do play ratings battles and you still don't have this tank don't worry for now you still have time to to grind uh until the summer and then in the summer it will be replaced with the, the t49 and be sure I will be one of the first channels uh, to showcase the T49 Fearless in in the battle. I mean, don't expect anything other than what the, how the T49 plays now. It's going to be exactly the same. But uh, it's going to be a new tank in the game um, in the summer. And it's a tank that people can look forward to if they are playing the ratings game. So we're just going to finish off here in the Lorraine. Now, as I've said, this tank even the fearless or the normal the rain like there's no different they are very hard tanks to play that's a four they're a four shot uh four shell auto loader that are really really difficult to play they've got no armor whatsoever the dpm isn't fantastic you can see there 200 yeah we bounced that shot not good at uh, 237 so for you to even get decent not even decent dpm uh you need to pen all four of your shots the penetration isn't the greatest uh so and because you've got literally zero armor as well, people can just bully you. They will be able to bully you. So we've completely uh, annihilated the team there. You can see we have one uh, cap, and that is the cap C, which I call early in the game. So all these supremacy points are all mine, baby. They are all mine. On top of that, we get a couple of kills, 2.8k damage. Now, most other tier eight tanks, this wouldn't even be a first class, nowhere near a first class, but because not many people are actually playing the Lorraine 40T Fearless, I did I did manage to, to get the mastery badge there. And uh, I mean, the XP wasn't too bad, 1300. Uh, well played from our Ritter there as well, 1300 base XP for him and that even might be an ace as well uh sadly not first class but very very close so let me know your thoughts have you managed to get the lorraine fearless are you going to try your luck from now until the summer to be able to get this tank and more importantly are you going to try to get the t49 fearless when it comes in the summer let me know in the comments below for now i hope you enjoyed the video i'm midzy69 and i'll catch you all soon bye bye